Welcome to this video. My name is Pedro Rodrigues Ribeiro. I'm a psychologist from Portugal and today I would like to talk about uh, a little introduction to uh, ACT ACT or as it's called acceptance, acceptance and commitment therapy. Well, ACT or or ACT is an integrative psychotherapy model that was developed uh, by Stephen Hayes and some of his colleagues, for example, like uh, Zivan Siegel uh, and uh, ACT or ACT is considered to be one of the models of uh, the third wave or the third generation of cognitive behavioral therapy models. So, as an integrative model, ACT brings us or unifies concepts from uh, behavioral and cognitive models, but also uh, certain aspects, certain um, key points or certain definitions of thoughts that were originally uh, brought from the um, from the orient side they are concepts they're not uh, usually usually uh, acknowledge or not acknowledge uh, that's the um, the wrong word but they are not related to Western kind of thinking and those concepts are acceptance and commitment they are truly uh, concepts that were uh, brought to us by certain oriental uh, uh, thoughts or oriental forms of uh, viewing and um, being in life for example, like in Buddhism, like in Taoism, like in other philosophical or religious um, uh, positions. And recently, and that's uh, very important, recently in mindfulness. So, um, as I said, uh, ACT Act or acceptance and commitment therapy is a model that integrates behavioral and cognitive notions so it's a, a model that integrates a certain form of cognitive behavioral therapy with the use of acceptance and commitment to achieve what they call psychological flexibility so what ACT defines it, uh, as psychological uh, flexibility is the ability to experience thoughts, I, um, emotions, behaviors without um, willing, uh, without uh, defenses. Uh, the, uh, the person experience those thoughts and ideas and behaviors just the way they are so uh, please excuse me to put uh, to make myself a little clear uh, most psychological uh, models um, t theorize that we uh, that we all use defense mechanisms or coping strategies to uh, to to deal with the harsh reality of life, but also some of the positive aspects. Uh, psychoanalysis calls them defense mechanisms. Other models, like for example, cognitive therapy and cognitive behavioral therapy, uh, calls them uh, coping strategies. What defense mechanisms in coping strategies uh, do is that, is that they create a way 
that the individual can process the reality not as the reality is but a more filtered reality some of the defense mechanisms can be utilized in the proper way most of them are utilized when psychological distress is um, happening for example if I don't if I don't accept or if I'm uh, not willing to accept the difficulty of a certain situation I can't deny to myself that the situation doesn't have the impact or doesn't have the meaning that truly does uh, so denial is a defense mechanism such as projection inter interjection and other co coping strategy for for example as um, uh, avoidance is a is a coping strategy a coping mechanism so what ACT what acceptance and commitment therapy provides us is to uh, the person develop the ability to feel to think and to behave just the way uh, those things are so um, in sum in conclusion the individual will accept the reality accept the situations the thoughts the the emotions the behaviors just the way they are uh, committing themselves to to be uh, as genuine and as um, without judgment as possible not not judgmental so uh, how does act um, pro provides us with those with those changes well uh, ACT uh, tells us that the most important thing is truly the therapeutic relationship where uh, the action of the therapist or the, the, um, the therapist's position is to help the people help the, the client to be as fully as possible full in the in the sense of plenitude to be full to, not to be empty to be real uh, to be uh, with the sense of realization uh, as an uh, an evidence-based model uh, acceptance and commitment therapy has multiple phases one of them are is case conceptualization as you can encounter in cognitive or cognitive behavioral therapy where the the therapist does an evaluation of the of the state of the client as towards what the diagnosis of a hypothesis and the intervention and inside the intervention the ACT uh, therapist brings a lot of cognitive and behavioral strategies what is most innovating in ACT is that the therapist brings into therapy uh, the values and uh, um, the worth of the of the concepts of uh, acceptance and commitment and as I said uh, those concepts are derived from Easter uh, from yeah Eastern uh, philosophies the uh, an Eastern perspective of life and to be when with ourselves and the the world and everything that surrounds us with nature another strategy that is uh, continuously applied in ACT is mindfulness so ACT is one of the models that uh, integrates mindfulness in his intervention not only some of the principles 
as acceptance and commitment are uh, also principles of mindfulness, but also um, informal and formal practices of mindfulness. Um, and conclusion, and as I said, uh, ACT or acceptance and commitment therapy is an evidence-based model. So it's um, well researched by Stephen Hayes and his colleagues into, uh, for example, depression, anxiety, emotional disorders, etc. So it's a well-established and validated uh, therapy model or a therapeutic model. Uh, for some reading uh, recommendations, you can read a lot of um, a lot of books from Stephen A's um, about uh, acceptance and commitment therapy, and there is a particular book from the the APA series of psychotherapy and psychotherapy models that was written by Stephen A's and uh, and uh, another colleague, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Uh, I don't have physical copies of the books, only in digital form. So uh, below um, the below in the comments in the video, I will I will um, I will left you with some uh, some reading recommendations from uh, ACT uh, manuals that you can read and you can uh, re uh, you, you can explore more of the theory and uh, and the process behind uh, ACT. So I'll, fa I'll thank you for your time and I hope you have a, a nice week and I'll see you soon.